In the harsh landscape of ancient Mongolia lived a small yet highly efficient predator, a hunter whose name would become legendary. Forget the image from the movies. The real velociraptor stood only half a meter tall at the hip, a far cry from the silver screen's fictional monster. Its long and narrow skull, about 23 centimeters, was designed for a precise bite. As a hunter, sharp vision was its primary asset, allowing it to detect the slightest movement in the distance. Fossil evidence confirms the presence of complex feathers, even wings on its arms, though it could not fly. These feathers likely served for display, for protecting its nest, and for regulating body temperature in the extreme desert climate. Its tail, reinforced by long bony rods, was inflexible, acting as a counterbalance when running and maneuvering. And this was its most lethal weapon, a sickle claw over 6.5 centimeters long, always held aloft to keep it sharp. It walked on only two toes, a deadly adaptation that ensured its weapon was always ready to strike. Its main diet consisted of small prey, reptiles, early mammals, and other small dinosaurs. However, it sometimes dared to take on larger prey, like Protoceratops, a pig-sized herbivore. Complex vocal communication may have been used, allowing for coordination within a group. While hunting in large packs is still debated, evidence suggests they sometimes moved together. With a lightweight skeleton and powerful legs, Velociraptor was a swift runner, capable of explosive, short pursuits. They were hunters that relied not just on strength, but on strategy, targeting the most vulnerable individuals. The raptor prey restraint model suggests they leapt onto their prey, using their body weight to pin it down. The claw was not used for slashing, but to pierce vital organs and to anchor itself to struggling prey. Its winged arms would have functioned as stabilizers, much like how modern birds of prey use their wings. Around 26 to 28 teeth on each side of its jaw ensured a firm grip and the effective tearing of flesh. This incredible fossil immortalizes a life and death struggle, direct evidence of this predator-prey interaction. Besides hunting, Velociraptor was also an opportunistic scavenger, never passing up an easy meal. Bite marks and shed teeth on prey fossils prove they also fed on the remains of dead animals. Living in an arid environment meant every water source was precious and had to be utilized. Interactions within the species could be complex, with fights for status and mating rights. Fossil evidence shows signs of intraspecies combat, likely due to competition for resources. Conserving energy during the hottest part of the day was key to survival in this unforgiving climate. Like many modern desert animals, they were likely more active at dawn and dusk to avoid the extreme heat. Their relatively large brains, especially the vision processing regions, point to advanced intelligence and hunting capabilities. This intelligence was not just for group hunting, but also for solving everyday challenges individually. Even flying reptiles did not escape its notice, and given the chance, they too could become prey. Like their modern avian relatives, complex visual displays likely played a key role in attracting a mate. Nests were likely built on the ground, arranged in a circular pattern to protect the precious eggs. Like all dinosaurs, Velociraptor reproduced by laying eggs, continuing their predatory lineage. There is a strong possibility that they brooded their eggs, a behavior that suggests parental care. After an incubation period, a new generation would emerge, tiny and completely dependent on their parents for protection. The first months of their lives were perilous, and parental care was crucial for survival. Through play, these young ones would hone the instincts and skills they would need as adult predators. Despite its small size, a mother velociraptor's ferocity in protecting her young was second to none. Within about a year, a young velociraptor would reach maturity, ready to hunt on its own. If it survived its dangerous youth, 
a Velociraptor could enjoy a lifespan of up to two decades. Velociraptor shared this habitat with a diverse range of other creatures, creating a dynamic ecosystem. Protoceratops was a primary food source, but also a formidable opponent with its powerful beak. Other dinosaurs like Oviraptor also inhabited this landscape, creating a complex and competitive ecosystem. Small mammals and various reptiles provided a constant and lower risk food source for Velociraptor. Though a capable predator itself, Velociraptor was also prey for much larger theropods. Environmental awareness and the ability to avoid danger were just as important as hunting prowess. Threats didn't always come from other living things, the environment could be just as deadly. A sudden sandstorm could bury animals alive in minutes, as was the case for the fighting dinosaurs fossil. The instinct to seek shelter was key to surviving nature's violent fury in this desert. This ever-changing environment demanded constant adaptation from all of its inhabitants. Millions of years later, these same sands would reveal the secrets of their ancient inhabitants to us. In 1923, an expedition to the Gobi Desert discovered the first remains of this swift thief. Every fossil, no matter how fragile, provides a window into a long-lost past. It was this claw that first sparked the imagination of the public and scientists alike, signaling a highly specialized predator. A landmark discovery in 2007 provided undeniable evidence that Velociraptor had bird-like feathers. The evolutionary link between theropod dinosaurs like Velociraptor and modern birds is now clearer than ever. Thanks to these fossils, we can reconstruct Velociraptor's appearance with an unprecedented degree of accuracy. This rare find provides direct behavioral evidence, a snapshot of prehistoric life frozen in time. Two recognized species have been identified from fossils found in Mongolia and China in different rock formations. Modern technology continues to unlock new insights from these ancient bones, revealing details about their senses and intelligence. After millions of years of rain, a cataclysmic event from space would change the planet forever. The devastating impact triggered a mass extinction, bringing the age of dinosaurs to an end. Like roughly 75% of all life on Earth, Velociraptor could not survive the drastic climatic changes that followed. In the geologic blink of an eye, the reign of the dinosaurs crumbled to dust. Yet their legacy lives on. One branch of the dinosaur family tree survived, evolved, and came to dominate the skies. Modern birds are living dinosaurs, carrying the genetic legacy of their fierce ancestors. In the behavior and anatomy of today's birds of prey, we can see echoes of Velociraptor's hunting strategies. Although science has painted a clear picture, the image of Velociraptor in popular culture often lags behind. The reality is far more fascinating, a feathered, turkey-sized predator built for speed, intelligence, and lethal efficiency. Velociraptor, the swift thief, remains one of the most iconic predators in the history of life on Earth.